Daniel 714 we see the graveyard of the empires the graveyard of the empires because of the coming reign of Jesus Christ and there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people all nations and all languages should serve him his dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed that's Jesus Christ's kingdom right there and all other kingdoms all other empires is crumbling down to the dust of this earth throughout the process of time they're crumbling down as men sell their souls by the millions for these empires and these kingdoms and these kingdoms and these these uh, teachings and doctrines and the uh, ways of the world the things of the world it's all one big package Jesus Christ came as a meek and lowly lamb the first time and he's waiting for all things to be placed into his dominion it was prophesied that it would happen but right now we just see what he's done for the salvation of mankind but at one time that'll be complete that'll be complete and then we will see all things brought under his command and other into his dominion and the 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 ultimate rule and reigning of his kingdom on this earth during the millennium the 1000 year reign Jesus Christ is not some weak tiptoeing around just some long-haired hippie that doesn't offend anybody that's not who he is he is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords that's who he is and right now we have the whole world building their own empires economic empires worldly empires political empires empires that raise their name above the name of Christ empires that take in different religions that have nothing to do with Jesus Christ men are so busy doing that in the meantime he's just waiting for the word when all things will be brought under his command and under his dominion he will be the king of kings and the lord of lords and every living human will bow down and acknowledge his power and his authority right now that's not happening We've got the Taliban running wild. We've got Al-Qaeda running wild. We've got all these religions, Christian science, and <clears throat> the Harry Kirshners and the Mormons and a whole bunch of them people running wild and building their empires. But the only empire that will last will be that of Jesus Christ. The only one. And right now he is standing. He is standing. Just like he stood whenever Stephen was being stoned. The Bible says that Jesus stood. And right now he is standing at the atrocities that's taken place in Afghanistan. He is standing at the atrocities that's taken place to Christians for his name's sake. He is standing in reverence and respect to those that bear his name faithfully in this hour of tribulation and those Afghan Christians right now that are over there in Afghanistan stay faithful to his name I know it's much much more easier said than done but stay faithful to his name you're doing a great thing by holding fast I know in the eyes of the world it looks like there's another kingdom that rules supreme above his kingdom but that's only because it's allowed to be that way right now but one day one day everything will be peeled back and we will all stand before the judgment and you will not regret the fact that you stood faithful bearing your cross One day, the Taliban 
that kingdom will come crumbling down at the feet of Jesus Christ. Crumbling down. And that's the truth. We have to see that. We have to see that. So many people, they don't even see that. Not even aware of that. We have to see that, believe that, understand that. And it puts everything in perspective. It puts everything in perspective then. This world does not belong to Jesus Christ right now. There is a prince of darkness. And he's the, he is the God of this world right now. And if you read in the book of Revelation, you'll read about the title deed to this earth. It'll be restored back to Jesus Christ. And that's why a lot of these things are allowed to happen because the fullness of time has not come yet. We're on a, we're in a, we're on a stage. We're being monitored by the host of heavens to see what kind of decisions that we're going to make. Who are we going to serve? Make no mistake, mistake about it. We are being viewed by the whole host of heaven right now. Many Christians in Afghanistan are facing that persecution. Believe it or not, but here in America, we are, we are, we are drowning in materialism. And we have our own unique trials and tribulations. Philippians 2, 10 and 11 says that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Everybody will. We either bow now willingly or we will bow later when we when we will be forced to bow. You will recognize the lordship of Jesus Christ. And every dirty rotten politician, whether Republican or Democrat, and all of your lying and deceiving, your empire, your political empire will come crumbling down to dust and you will stand before Jesus Christ and give an account for your deeds and for your actions. Every communistic, brutal, brutal, totalitarian leader will bow down. Kim Jong Un, yeah, Kim Jong Un, his father, Kim Jong Il, uh, both of them will bow down before Jesus Christ. Right now, you're not even allowed to mention the name of Jesus Christ under that North Korean dictatorship. You can't even mention, you will sell your whole family grandpa, grandma, sons, daughters, nieces, nephews, cousins into a life of slavery, hard labor if you just say the word Jesus Christ in that country. And they will shove gravel in your mouth as they beat you to death and you can't even call upon the name of God with your tongue, with your mouth. Because that's how bad they don't want to hear it. Well, I got a message for you, Kim Jong-un. I have a message for you. My message to you is that your kingdom will crumble as time keeps going. As the process of time goes on, you will die just like your father. And you will, and you will answer to God for this little life that you live down here on earth. This little life that you live down here on earth, you will answer to Jesus Christ, God Almighty, for what you've done. All the, the evil atrocities that you've committed, all of the famines that you've allowed to happen, all of the torture that you've committed. The only way that you will be saved is if you return to Jesus Christ, repent of your sins, and change the life that you're living, change your country, allow your people to worship Jesus Christ, Quit persecuting people. Quit torturing people. Quit allowing people to starve to death. And quit your reign of terror in that land. And if you do that through the price that Jesus paid for you, if you repent, turn to Him, take upon yourself the name of Jesus Christ in a reality and be born again, you will be saved in the end. But not until then. Not until then. 
and a burning hell lies ahead for you. A burning hell lies ahead for you and you will regret every breath you took on your continent over there, on your land over there. You will regret every decision you made outside of the kingdom of Jesus Christ. You will regret every torture, every persecution that you made to the saints over there. You will regret it one day. I say that out of love and concern. Xi Jinping, the president of China, that same message goes to you. You are nobody special. You are nobody special. You will stand before Jesus Christ and you will answer for the life that you lived, just like the homeless people in Seattle, Washington and Los Angeles, California. When we die, we're, we will lay naked on a slab just like the person next to us. But the difference between those that know Christ and love Christ and live for Christ and those that love your empires and served your empires and raised your empires while you mocked Jesus Christ, the difference is one will be at peace and one will have torment and torture throughout all of eternity. Repent. Repent. Repent, Xi Jinping. Repent, Kim Jong-un. Repent, the leader of Iran. Repent, the leader of the Taliban. Repent and turn to Jesus Christ. Bow down before him. Get right with the God of heaven. Through Jesus Christ, there's no other way. The way that you're following is not a way. It's not a way. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man. And that means you. No man, that means you. <coughs> Excuse me. Will come to the Father except through Jesus Christ. This is the truth today. And all of these atrocities that you're, you're doing, you will answer. You will answer for the rejection of Jesus Christ and the life that you lived. Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. This globe will be a graveyard of foolish, wasted, wicked empires on the day of judgment. A graveyard of foolish, wicked, wasted empires on the day of judgment. Some of them will have your name on it. Some of them, I'm going to have to keep it real. Some of them are going to have Kim Jong-il's name on it. Some of them are going to have Kim Jong-un's name on it. Some of them are going to have the leader of the Taliban's name on it. And Xi Jinping of China, your name will be on those empires, but they will be crumbled to dust. Nothing. The only thing left is your actions and your wicked deeds that you will answer for. Mark my words because they're the words of the Holy Bible that you mock and you scoff at. You need to get right with God just like anybody else. You are nobody special. Nobody special. Empires. The Trump Empire will come crumbling down. The Trump Empire with his name on those buildings will crumble to dust. And he will stand naked before God. Naked before God if he's not right with God. If he's not right with God. And if you're a Christian, you need to have your priorities straight. Jesus Christ is king. Jesus Christ is ruler. Jesus Christ, it's his government. He's the savior. He's the one that can make a difference. Everybody else is dust of the earth. Dust of the earth. And that goes for Donald J. Trump also everybody this globe will be a graveyard of foolish and wicked wasted empires that mean nothing that mean absolutely nothing on the day of judgment it's time to get right there's nobody special out there you don't understand who you're messing with when it comes to Jesus Christ He's got fire in his eyes. Remember what I read to you over here in Daniel? Daniel 7, 14. 
And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, all nations and languages should serve him, should serve him, should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion. Yours isn't. His dominion is an everlasting dominion. Yours isn't. His kingdom, which shall not pass away, and his kingdom is that which shall not be destroyed. You cannot destroy the kingdom of Jesus Christ. You cannot do it. You might as well give it up. There's no way. There's no way. You need to get right with him. He's coming back as the lion of the tribe of Judah. He's not coming back as a meek and lowly lamb. You will see a completely different side. A completely different side. And that little kingdom that you're living for, that got your name on it. All of those things will crumble, will be dust and blown away. And the only thing remaining was whether or not we had the name of Jesus Christ. Whether or not we were washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. That we had our full faith in Jesus Christ. That we didn't bow to man. We didn't worship man. We didn't trust in man. The only thing that will matter in that day. That's it. That's it. Only one life and soon it will pass. Only what's done for Christ will last. Think about that. How did you spend your day today? How did you spend your day today? You'll never get this day back. You'll never get this, this day back. Kim Jong-un, repent. Xi Jinping of China, repent. Repent and turn to Jesus. Repent and turn to Jesus. If I can, I'll boost this all the way to China. I'll boost this as close to North Korea as I can get. I'll boost this to every Chinese community and Korean community that I can because the gospel of Jesus Christ is what matters today. Him, him, he's the only one. He's coming soon. His coming kingdom. It's all that matters. It's all that matters. so much more here but I'm gonna stop this right here everything that I say I say out of love it breaks my heart when I think of how life is going on everybody's living their life but who's preparing for judgment day who is fearing God out there in a reality and there will be a pitiful passing parade of perishing people on that great day of judgment please please don't be in that don't be a part of them submit yourself to Jesus Christ surrender to Jesus Christ give your life to Jesus Christ have faith in Jesus Christ take upon his name bear his name call upon his name believe in him before it's too late before it is too late from the highest to the lowest the Bible says in Revelation from the greatest to the smallest will all stand before the great white throne judgment and your little empire oh but I'm gonna get my e5 I'm trying to get my e5 here e5 why don't you get these in perspective get God first in a reality build your little kingdom in the military build your little kingdom in religion, build your little kingdom with money, build your little kingdom, getting all the education you can, build your little kingdom. Well, guess what? Where, where do you stand in his kingdom? Where do you stand in his kingdom? He has all power. He has all authority. All power and authority has been given unto me, both in heaven and in earth, he said. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. I wish I could stand up and preach right now, but I can't. Get right with God soon, now right now right now my battery is going to die get right with god repent right where you're at and get right with god now quit mocking him quit scoffing him with your life oh you may not say it with your words but your life mocks and scoffs after god with your life 
Come on. It needs to happen. If you want to be right on that day, if you want to be right on that day, if you want to be right on that day, it's the only way. That's the only way. That is the only way that you'll be able to stand in all of his fury and all of his wrath. It's called the wrath of the Lamb. 